guys, welcome to part three of my makeup declutter series for December 2021. Today we are tackling setting powders, bronzers, as well as blushes and highlighters. This one is going to be a good one because I feel like the blushes and highlighters and the eyeshadow palettes are the ones everyone likes. So that's what we're doing today. I'm going to go ahead and take these sponges and brushes out. These are dirty, need to be cleaned. I just set them in the drawer because it's kind of low. Anything that was gifted to me, I will donate. I have a whole bag that's going out for Thursday as a donation right in time for Christmas. Um, yeah, and then anything I bought and I think I could maybe make a dollar off of and it's not unsanitary, I'll probably put on Depop. Who knows? I don't know. I feel like listings of on Depop so much work for what you get out of it sometimes, but anyway, let's get started. We have cream products, bronzers, contours, and setting powders. Let's start with setting powders. First thing I'm totally decluttering is this By Terry Colorless Setting Powder. I hate this. I did a video recently on disappointing products and my monthly favorites and fails. This was a fail. So where is this really expensive? And it came in a subscription box, so I didn't pay that full price for it. It has to go because I don't like it. It's not good. Another one I'm going to go ahead and declutter is this kimchi one. I'm actually going to put this in my empties container. There is a baby bit left in here. I'll probably try to use up tonight when I do my face before I go to Walmart. And that's going to be it for this one. So I'm going to declutter this one. Put it on the desk for today and it'll be empty tomorrow. Or later today, probably. Um, rest of my setting powders, we have the Jaclyn Hill pink one, the brightening pink. I never really use this, but <clears throat> I'm keeping it because I do like the, how my skin looked afterwards. I have the Jeffree Star Rose Luminous one, like the sparkly one. But sometimes I open this and I mix a little bit with my regular matte powder. I just don't, I wish this was unscented. I wish this setting powders were unscented. That would be really nice then. I have the Translucent setting powder from Laura Mercier. This is the second one I'm going through, right? Because sometimes my foundations are a little too pale. I'll use this. Kind of darkens my skin up because it is tinted, even though it's supposed to be translucent. Issue is, this one in particular is always stuck. Like, I always take my setting powders and I shake. And then there's a bunch of loose on the top. This, there's barely any powder that comes off the top. So I don't know if I need to declog it or something. For the price tag, this should be perfect. But I'm going to keep it and try to unclog it. <clears throat> also, I feel like I'm losing my voice because I just ate a big burrito. Anyways, the next setting powder is another Laura Mercier one. This is Celestial Light one. This is more of a luminizing one rather than a matte. I haven't really been loving it. It's a little dark. So I'm going to go ahead and declutter this one as well. Uh, other setting powder is the Milk Makeup Setting Powder. I actually tried to tag this in a makeup tutorial like last month and I couldn't find it anywhere. I don't know if it's discontinued, but I like it as like my... This is my dewy setting powder. It doesn't set my face super, super matte. So this is my dewy setting powder, even though it is a matte one. It's just not matte enough for me. And then this is my everyday go-to. It is the butter one from Fenty. Got it in a boxy charm, and I will definitely be repurchasing. Like, I'm on the bottom. Last little bit of it now. Like, there's not much in here, and I will totally be repurchasing this at full price because it's that good. I actually need to get better organization in here because these be moving around, you know? So right now... As like my main setting powders, I have five, and basically two for my face. These other three is one for pinkening, um, and two for, well, I guess three are main setting powders. One for making it more luminous, one for more pinkening, you know? Anyways, now that I ever need to pinken myself, let's move on to cream products now. I'm probably just going to keep these because I don't have that many. I have the Light Look Fight or Flight About Face Halsey Liquid Highlighter. I have a dark contour stick in F14. The City for Skin Tone is my contour kind of contour stick. I love this Cheek Dew and Hotline from ColourPop. I have two ColourPop Super Shock Cheeks. Um, I think I might declutter the Candyland one. Yeah, I'm going to declutter the Candyland one. It's a gummy more shade. I'm going to declutter this one. I'm going to keep Chev Chiffron as a blushy glowy. Because this one has like lots of red and sparkly undertone. And then my two cream highlighters, I'm keeping the Steve Laurent highlighter, jelly highlighter that came in a boxy charm like a year, maybe two years ago. It's still wet and good. And then I have the Candy Floss Super Shock highlighter from ColourPop that is just so pretty. So pretty. So I'm going to keep these two as my like liquid highlighters and this one. Cream highlighters, liquid highlighter. The She Glam blush, love that one. And I'm keeping this Becca Ignite because Becca's not around anymore. And technically, if I wanted to, like, put this on my shoulder or something in the summertime, it'd be really great for photos. But I never do that. So it's just been here unused for a long time. Here in the back, I have a little mini 
Becca Hydra Mist setting powder. I didn't know I had. Probably came in a subscription box or like a little Ipsy bag. I'm going to move it up front. Put it up here. I'll try to use it. And then I have a white setting powder from Anastasia Beverly Hills. The setting powder translucent one. I found this for $12 at TJ Maxx. And that's like a good Halloween powder. It's white. I know technically this translucent powder is supposed to work on anybody because it's translucent, but it leaves total white cast. Over here, I just have some pencil sharpeners. And then these are my contour palettes and bronzers and these two things. So this is the Ofra one, the Midi Face Palette in Light. I will say these tones are a little warm for me. I prefer this one compared to this one, even though it's darker because it is more cool toned. And then the highlighter is Star Island, which I do love, so I'm keeping this. The Liesl Cosmetics Face Palette, very pretty. Honestly, I like the blushes in here. I'm not as big a fan of the bronzer because it is a little dark for me, but it is a nice, compact, slim palette I'm going to hold on to. And then here is two more single Liesl palettes I will declutter. But I don't know how to declutter it because I kind of want the palette. Hmm, I was just going to donate this since they sent me these two shades. But I kind of want this little magnetic palette. I guess I'm just going to save out to the palette. Okay. I'll buy another one off Amazon. And this Cover FX face palette it is torn up, used, and abused. But I love it and it's going to stay. Y'all, I need... I need to get over my love of this thing because it's kind of gross, but I, I do love it, so it's not going anywhere. <laughs> Next up, these are my two go-to contours, actually. These are my go-to everyday ones. The Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow. I use the bronze side. I don't really use the glow side, as we can tell. Love it. It's so pretty. It's so soft. Like, it's not overly pigmented, so I can kind of just put it on quickly and leave just the right amount of product on my skin. Then this one's my, like, everyday, like, you know, not fancy one because that's fancy and expensive. This is the Charisma Kaleidos contour palette as we can tell i've hit pan i'm trying to finish the last of this um and the last of this this was just my regular contour shade and then i started hitting really hard pan on it so i decided to move on to this one and mix them both and this especially from underneath my chin or multiple chins depending on the day and i still have a little bit of pan on this one too because my brush is so big it kind of nicks into that one so this one is like <laughs> it looks good like it looks good i'm happy with how much actually progress have you made on that I never hit things like pan on things unless it's a bronzer or contour you know a bronzer that uses contour I never really bronze two bronzers that I do have though are the Charlotte Tilbury ones these were gifted to me which is amazing I have the fair which is really pretty at least like a nice soft sandy look to the skin and then this one's number two it's medium so one and two this one's a little bit darker but honestly on like the corners of my forehead and stuff if I ever need to like kind of slim that down a little bit it's a really pretty color these are not the most pigments in the world it does take a little bit of building up with them well with the lighter one i guess the second one's pretty deep on me but they look beautiful i'm gonna keep both of them and i love this packaging like charlotte tilbury is that stuff's expensive but it's beautiful and i also have the jeffree star rose setting powder i think i used it like three times like i used it to review and i might have worn it twice but I don't like the overwhelming rose scent, so I'm going to declutter it because I just, the smell is overwhelming and I have this one. You know, I would keep it as like a review purposes, but I don't do comparison videos very often. Next up, I have the Soleil One bronzer. This was at Nordstrom Rack from Laura Mercier. I'm going to keep it because I don't have that many bronzers. And then also a bronzer I'm going to keep is the Bronzer Duo by Samantha March. It's this one. Actually, I think I'm going to declutter this one. I never really worry. I kind of like the luminous, glowy side to it. But, like, I don't need a million bronzers. So, I'm going to go ahead and declutter this one. And so, so, I only have three bronzers. Other than the ones that are, like, in palettes. Like, the, this could be a bronzer, but it's glowy. Yeah, I only have three. So, I have the two Charlotte Tilbury ones and then the one Laura Mercier one. Which makes me sound fancy, but, you know. <laughs> Anyways, let's move on to the next drawer now, which is going to be blushes and highlighters. All right, so here is my blushes and highlighter drawer. I really love this drawer because I just, I love putting on my blush and highlighter for the day. Mostly the highlighter. Blush gives a nice little something to the skin. I love adding on blushes like an order, adding to an order, just adding a blush. But highlighter is my favorite thing to put on my face. I like doing my highlighter more than I like doing my eyeshadow, hands down. Like, I love putting on highlighter. Also, the newest highlighter in my collection is the Space Age Gifted one from Kaleidos. I wore it yesterday. It's so pretty. You can't tell on camera, but it has like this yellow, gold, purpley hue to it. Like it's it's such a cool shift to it. Super pretty. I'm not trying to get my hands covered in highlighter when I'm dipping through a million things, so I'm not gonna swatch it. But it's so pretty. 
And then I accidentally bought a duplicate of this because I forgot I had it. You know, it's one of those late night orders when you're sitting in bed and you're like, mm, that looks really pretty. Um, yeah, <laughs> I forgot I had it. So I already have this one, but it's really pretty gold. And then the other two Kaleidos ones I have are Diamond Dasher, which is like a peachy color. I don't really have that many peachy highlighters. And then a Solar Sailor, which is a beautiful yellow. I haven't used this nearly as much as I thought I was going to, but it is very pretty regardless. So I'm going to keep all four of these. I'm just going to take them out of the drawer for the moment. They are a little thick. I wish they came in regular palettes or I could depot them, but could I depot them? No, no I'm not even going to try that. <laughs> I'm not even going to try it. Okay, anyway, so let's move on to these palettes right here. Now, I know they're kind of close to the camera screen, but this is the Ofra palette. I just did a video where I decluttered, or I depotted a bunch of my blushes and highlighters. So these are my Ofra highlighters. We have uh, Pillow Talk. I forgot what it's called. I never put the label up here that tell me the names of them. Glazed Donut, uh, Mother Earth, Start Inspired, and Milk and Cookies. I forgot that one's called. It's like the Christmassy one. I don't know if it's Christmas. I think I got it in a search box. But... These are super pretty. And then the other side is my blush thing. I have to admit, like other than yesterday when I wore the new Grifted Highlighter from Kaleidos, I've been reaching for this for my blushes and highlighters every day because it's just so easy to flip. And you know, you have the perfect texture and perfect formula because I love the highlighters so much. And then blushes are super easy. Honestly, these are just face palettes that I depotted as well as like this, these two blushes that were singles. This is supposed to be a highlighter, but for me, it works as a really pretty glowy blush, and I love all of these shades. I don't really care for this one, because I put my finger in it, and now I feel like I hate it, and then I don't really care for this sandy shade either. But as of right now, like, this is my go-to palette. Like, it's, I was worried I wasn't going to like it because it's double-sided and big and bulky, but, like, having everything like this is so much easier than having so many big, chunky palettes in here. So I'm totally keeping this. I think it's so perfect. Maybe, let's see. I don't have enough room in here to put one more of these shades in here. So as of right now, I'm just going to keep it. But it, I love it. I love it. Also, this Prados Beauty Blush Palette. Super cute. Keeping that. The Cinderella uh, Highlighter and Blush from Sigma. I'm going to keep as well because I really like the highlighter and the blush duo. I think it, like, it's a really pretty color of both of these shades. But they're not overwhelming, you know, on the face. The Sigma Berry Glow I'm going to declutter. I think it's really pretty as well. But since this one came out, I just prefer the highlighter shade a little bit more. So I'm declutter that one. The Natasha Bloom and uh, Blush and Glow Palette. I have conflicted feelings about this. These have I've gotten a lot of use out of these as glowy blushes, not as highlighters or blushes, just mixing both of these shades together as glowy brushes. Um, but I haven't used these shades. Like I've tried it like once or twice and it just doesn't work for me. I don't really like the cream. So I think I'm going to go ahead and declutter this, actually, um, because I'm not using it, you know. Uh, next up, this little mini mix face palette we got in a description box. I'm going to declutter this one. I really like it for the Star Island highlighter shade, but now I just realized that I do have this by itself. I have it in the Start Inspired little mixing thing in the big palette, but in this mini, the mini face palette from the other drawer, I have that as well. And I was really keeping it for that. This blush is also really pretty. It's the shade Pink Satin. But I have the other blush palette, so I'm going to declutter this one, even though it's very pretty. And then I'm going to keep both Scott Parnes palettes. I have the blush one, which is super cool, and it's my only yellow blush now that I decluttered the Lethal one. And then this Scott Barnes highlighter palette is gorgeous, and I feel like it's just so expensive. These are, like, so high-end and fancy. It's like feels like an honor to have them because I'm not fancy myself. So let's put these back in here. I wish the Prados one was just a little bit more narrow. It can fit there perfectly, but that's okay. So I only have five palettes right here. It's pretty good. For now, I'm just going to set these over here so I don't forget to put them back in the drawer. Anyways, next up for, let's do the rest of the face palettes, I guess. Uh, this is a Signature Frosted palette from Ofra. I tried to depot these, as you can tell. I tried to depot these. It didn't work out. I really like this shade. What's this middle shade? Covent Garden. I'm going to check their website, see if they have this as a full size. I can use my own discount code to buy it. If they have the full size, I will purchase it. If not, we're just not going to have the shade. I'm going to declutter this palette. I don't. I think we got that description box as well. Next up, Jeffree Star's Pimpermint Frost. <laughs> I'm never getting rid of this. I was so lucky that someone sent this to me. Sorry, I can't say who it is. Um, and yeah, it's, it's beautiful. <laughs> it's beautiful. And you can't get it anymore. And it smells... It doesn't smell. I thought it smelled good. Now I'm going crazy. I remember it smelling better. It doesn't smell like anything. 
The Jeffree Star Cavity Face Palette, honestly, I've used these two shades and a little bit of this one mixed in as like a glowy blush moment. I'm going to keep it for that purpose, but I'm not in love with it. The Sigma Corderosa Blush Palette is absolutely beautiful. This shade, the Corderosa shade, chef's kiss. Love it. It's so satiny. I'm going to keep that. I'm also going to keep the Moon Prism Blush Palette from Lunar Beauty. To be honest, I have not used this lately because they're all very matte except for this one. It's kind of peachy, which isn't really my vibe, but aesthetically, it's beautiful. And I'm not going to hate having this sitting in my collection at all. And then these are beautiful. It's the Glam Shop Highlighter Palette. I know they more than one highlighter palette, but this is like their most popular one, I think. It's so beautiful. They have like different hues of everything. So this one's more pink. This one's more purple. This one's more icy white silvery. This one's blue. This one's yellow. This one's gold. Like they just have their own hue to them. And they're just so beautiful. I forget to use them, honestly. I, I always use... This big palette now with all my Ofra stuff in it. So I haven't really been using these as much. But I need to. Like I need to, honestly. Let's go down to the other stuff now. This is like the last chunk of the video. This is like the little things, you know? So Jeffree Star Ice Cold. You know I can get rid of this thing. Oh, I, hit high, I, I do hit pan on something other than contours. Highlighters, you know? <laughs> um, Jeffree Star's Ice Cold. Love it. This has been my inner corner highlight for probably four years every single day but lately I've been switching it up and using the give me glow falling glow as my inner corner highlight because it's just so beautifully bright shimmery and I want like the most dramatic inner corner so I've been using this one which obviously I'm gonna keep it I'm also gonna keep the give me glow sunset glow I have not been using this one as much but it's like a glowy like goldeny kind of color it's very pretty it's not quite yellow gold it's more like a a bronzy gold but very beautiful i'm also going to keep the fruity pebbles highlighter from the revolution collab thing i reviewed it was super nice and then i love these little quads of the blushes from ColourPop. this one's my favorite the extra glazed one because it has more of a blushy pink but as a neutral pink these are super cute like these are my favorite little blush quads these little color pop ones i love them so i'm gonna keep those oh i did t i mentioned these in a color pop favorites video recently too so yeah the Give Me Glow Halo. I'm going to keep as a beautiful glowy yellow highlighter, even though I have not been using it that much. And I don't really care for the packaging, but the color itself is gorgeous. The quality is gorgeous. This Melt Cosmetics Morning Star. I don't remember where I got this. I'm going to declutter this one um, because I haven't used it lately. It's a little bit hard pan on the top, and it's something that tape's not going to fix, you know? This Lunar Beauty Mercury Palette, or highlighter, not highlighter. I remember when I placed an order for one of the palettes, one of the palettes that came out, I think it was the Greek Goddess, and this was like their, their highlighters had just come out, and they still don't have an icy white shade, this is just a yellow one, and I forgot, because I was so excited about the palette, I forgot I ordered this, and then I threw the palette in like a trash, I threw the box in a trash box, and this was in there, and I'm so glad I remember for they took the trash out that day, because I almost lost this forever, it's super pretty, I'm going to keep it, but I do find that the packaging is wearing, I barely touch these things. I don't really flip through these individually. I don't move around to scratch and things. And these basically just sit where they sit. And if I need something, I just pull it out. I don't like scrumble through my makeup. But this thing is so scratched and like it's it wants to scratch itself. Like I, there's no way I move it around this much and scratch it from every angle. There's not a way I did that. But somehow it thinks I did. Like the packaging on itself, it just gets dirty and scratchy. The Cinderella Pressed Highlighter from OMFG I'm going to keep as well. This one's super small. I'm just going to put it over here. And then let's see if I can just put these back. These Kaleidos ones. Okay, that'll work. Um, back here we have the Kimchi Pinky Rosé Duo Blush. I'm going to keep this very matte blush. One of my favorite blushes from ColourPop is this one. It's the Just My Pluck, I think. Yeah, Just My Pluck. I love how neutral it is, but kind of on the mauve side. This Urban Decay Fetish Blush. I don't use it anymore, but I love it. So I'm still going to keep it. Like, I, I forget I have it. You know, some of these little blushes and stuff and these little highlighters, I forget that I have, to be honest. It's, like, not a good situation. These two Glam Light ones, the Pina Colada, which is kind of a bronzier one. And then the Mimosa one, which is more of an orangier one golden yellow. I'm going to declutter as well. No. I'm going to keep Pina Colada to declutter Mimosa because I have other yellow highlighters. I'm going to keep Pina Colada. It's really beautiful. It's like last on the skin. It's so beautiful. 
these both these little duos from cover fx i'm gonna keep and then this melt blush i'm gonna keep as well because it's very glowy and pretty this one is the buzz and kill duos and then down boy from the balm i'm gonna declutter because i have a ofra one in my little palette that i use that looks like that kind of shade so i got rid of a couple here i'm gonna declutter the color pop in the groove loose highlighter because i didn't love it when i reviewed that collection this burberry highlighter i think is really gorgeous but again like kind of like the melt one i've talked about it's a little bit hard pan on the top so i am going to part ways with it this patrick tall one i'm going to keep even though i don't use the blood the the cream i use the powder it's like a nice soft orange moment i don't care for the packaging but the color itself is very beautiful and then back here we have some other ones some jeffree star ones i'm going to keep for review purposes a uh shop miss a dollar highlighter my gwen stefani blush palette stuff like that what i'm going to declutter from back here is the lime crime cyber blush don't like it i'm going to declutter that so let me count up what i decluttered today so i wasn't feeling like i did that good but i got rid of 18 things today which does not include like the individual things they're just i all together it's 18 things like these are so pretty and things and they're really beautiful and i still need to find a highlight out of this one but i'm not using them so i might as well go to a new home so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it and i will see you guys in the next video